what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to composite mist into any of your renders so let's get started okay so first things first the reason why we're going to composite mist and we're not going to natively put it in the scene is because one it will be faster to calculate and render it will cut your render times tremendously and two you have more control way more control so let's get started and let me show you how to do it so once you're ready to render right before you render go to the right hand side here and click the layer properties and here you're going to select Z and it's going to select mist I like to personally select the diffuse glossy and transmission as well as the emission environment shadow ambient occlusion um, maybe in another tutorial I'll go over all of the render passes I use and why but for now just make sure Z mist and combined these three are very important make sure these three are checked and click use for rendering once that is pressed then press the render key. Once you've completely rendered your image, you're going to need to go to the compositing tab. Now mine might look a bit different to yours because what I've done is I right clicked here. I clicked vertical split and I essentially dragged another image editor. I then went here and typed in viewer node so that I have a render result on the left hand side, a viewer node on the right hand side. Then I enabled backdrop, which is here within your compositing tab okay so before we do anything else we're going to go to edit preferences and we're going to make sure that node wrangler is enabled this is very important because it's going to save us a lot of time so enable node wrangler the node wrangler add-on save the preferences and close now if you control shift and click onto this render layers if you keep clicking you can see each and every individual render path that you selected earlier now this is important because every individual element you see here we have the control to manipulate but all we're going to need is depth and mist and as you can see you're not really seeing anything when you click these passes what we're now going to need to do is click shift a and search for normalize now you're going to drop this node in between the depth pass and the viewer bang and now you can see you have the mist within a scene right but it's only missed. Now you could actually image, save as, and save this out as a JPEG and have this as a standalone image, or you can composite it in to the original image, which is what we're gonna do here. So what I like to do is press Shift A again and drop in a color wrap. Now this is important because this gives you control over the values of the image. Everything which is black is not going to be affected by the mist. Everything which is white, to gray is going to be affected by the mist. Now, what we're gonna do is composite this with the original image. So we're gonna overlay them together. So click on the color ramp and then press control and the plus key. And this is going to throw in an add note. We're then gonna grab the image on the left side with the render layers and drag it into the add node. Bam, and just like that, you can see you've got mist in the scene. Remember I said earlier, that the white and black values determine what's got mist around them and what doesn't. So if you adjust the black values at the bottom here and we slide all the way up, you can see that the mist doesn't really affect that part of the image. I like to change this from linear to B spline so it's a bit more smooth and it's a gradual fade. I personally also like to change this white value here and change it to a different color that I want the mist to be. So for this, it's kind of like a bluish area. So I'm going to change it to a blue color. And I'm going to drag this back down. So there's more mist. I'm going to move this here. So it affects more of the image. <laughs> and I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> Again, you can adjust it and change it towards your taste, but that's the that's the quick way of how to get uh, mist into your scene. And again, it saves off loads loads of time. You can have you can start the original image here, but you could also have a composited mist pass. And you don't even have to do this in Blender. You can do this in After Effects if you want, or DaVinci Resolve Fusion. You can do it in there or Nuke, whichever is the best compositor for you. You can literally use this depth pass or the mist pass and composite in mist or smoke into your scene. Once you're done. Go to this image, save as, click where you want to save the file 
and save it as a JPEG or PNG or TIFF, whichever you prefer. I hope that was useful. If you liked the video, share, subscribe, comment, and like. If you want me to make more videos about different render passes, why they're used, why I use them, why I use some, why I don't, then let me know in the comments below and I'll make that video for you. Peace.